dear viewers welcome to this coffee cup reading this coffee cup is for all aquarians and it's for october 2023 and onwards i hope you'll enjoy it welcome everyone um for those of you who are new my dear viewers i would just want you to be aware and mindful that prior to doing uh, this coffee cup i always meditate and i get in connection to your guiding angels and i'm given information which i write down on a piece of paper and deliver to you right at the end of this reading so stay tuned for that welcome everyone i hope you will enjoy this reading and let us begin let's see you have a beautiful cup as always there's always something amazing and bizarre going on here so we'll start from the beginning and this time it's good that it's not connected to the ending okay glasses on and i will begin right okay first thing i see my dear viewers is okay it seems to me like there, there may be something that sort of it looks to me like you may be in need of quiet because i feel like you're distracted and it's time now to withdraw and really contemplate about building your strength. Um, I feel like there's something really big that's going to happen very soon and you need your strength to move forward. Uh, I also feel that you are in, you are going to be in total control, control, but I just want to say that you've got to be very careful not to get distracted. I feel like your higher self, your intuition is trying to tell you something, but you may be not listening. There is There are messages coming through, signs, messages. Connected to um, number seven. Number seven. Now, the number seven could be um, something about July. Number seven could be about people born in July, which are Leo, Cancer, either Cancerians or Leos, Chinese year of the horse, something that your higher self is trying to warn you or let you know and and you're not able to hear hear it so just paying a little bit of attention you'll understand you could be possibly facing a very painful and difficult situation and but it's an important one it's one that you need to go through to overcome it and uh, it's going to be Right, a, right after this or during this, you are going to be seeing a different, your, your mind is becoming wider. Uh, you know, your perspective is becoming uh, much more wider. And I feel like there's going to be an opportunity that will help you to heal. So um, I really feel like it's time for you to sort of be ready for this situation. There may be um, a situation where there's greed and someone very selfish maybe um, affecting your life in some way or trying to control you in some way you may be held in a very unhealthy situation which you need to release yourself from i also feel like um, some of you are there's something being done a little bit too much of too much access of like you know there might be compulsion somebody controlling you or, or com you're compelled to do things at their their way and you're worried and i feel like you are going to be on the defensive side trying to sort of um you don't want this person challenging your authority you want to be an authority and i feel like you are being defensive and eventually you will win so um you're standing up for your right and fighting for what you believe in and i also feel like There's a bit of aggression that might go on here, so be aware of that. Now, it looks to me like uh, something from the past you keep thinking about. Every now and then you go down memory lane and remember someone. Memories of love, perhaps, uh, lost love. It's just um, It just gives you that pleasant feeling. They're happy memories of good times. But then after that, there is trouble, and then you feel sad again. Maybe you remember the ending and um how bad it ended maybe or you know someone this person from your past did bring you happiness and the fact that you lost that it's it gives you emotional relief and and you're trying to heal from that but again you do grieve the loss of this person they keep coming in your mind and you keep remembering them you will heal from the situation even though it does affect your emotional state you feel dissatisfied 
uh, with situations. It's like, it's as though you've lost someone that is so hard to replace and you keep remembering them. So you keep, uh, you know, putting your attention on just uh, working and making money and, you know, like possessions and buying things and material possessions. And, but you're not happy. You want more. You want uh, something more deeper. Emotionally, you seem to be exhausted. Sorry, I just, bear with me. I've got to take something out of my. Emotionally, you look What's the word? Yeah, you are distorted. You, you're, you're very confused. It's like you've lost interest in so many things. And, and there is like semi-depression that you might be going through. There may be some sort of depression that you may be facing. You need to take action and find the answer to your happiness because I feel like you can't move forward with this. You know, you need to move forward. I, I feel like there's something that's also maybe ended just recently and it's making you think about the past. Something that you might be going through, some sort of ending. Or trying to reconcile maybe and it's not working and, and there is sort of like a an end of a chapter or maybe somebody's making it sort of clear that it's completely ended and there's nothing more that can be done. But there is an end and there is a change and there is a new beginning you know you want to simplify your life i feel like you're going through recognizing everything and there's a lot of rewards coming your way my dear queries a lot of rewards and you're you're brightening you're broad you're broadening your horizon you want to plan and you want you have these new ideas and there's a project that you want to start i, I feel like your dreams will be all co completed somehow um something you're not even waiting for might happen i i feel like okay in some cases i'm seeing there could be a new business or a new idea that you're putting into action and it's booming and going really well or a development or maybe um you want to you want to lead a project maybe you're thinking of maybe buying a property there's land and there's property you may be considering um, starting your own business or buying a piece of land where you can do your business. A lot of tactics are needed. And developing contacts, for some reason, you need this. I don't know what kind of business it is that might need that, but that's what I'm seeing. A little bit of patience, slowly, slowly you'll get there. I feel like your guiding angels are watching over you and they are going to help you um, reach to a certain level of control control over this situation and over your life i feel like you're gonna you are gonna achieve balance and um there is going to be a need for flexibility because there's a change coming in your life and you are going to adapt to this change uh, beautifully many ideas are doing well like your um they're, they're new ideas but you know it looks like to me like this cooperation like you're getting help maybe from others to support you in this idea that you want to put into action but um i just feel like the universe is saying just slow down and do it slowly um you are willing even to go further and and explore your your skills and want to increase your skills I also feel like there's a lot of foundation that you want to build. A lot of changes are taking you to the next level and you're rising beyond where you are today. Some of you could be uh, thinking for your career to get more education. Um, some of you could be wanting, you know, to increase your knowledge or even your levels at work where you might be needing more skills. Some of you, um, your spiritual growth is growing, but there is teamwork and there's necessary teamwork that you can't do this alone. And there's a lot of contentment in this job where there is teamwork, where you're not alone. That's, that's what I'm seeing. And, um, you need to really pay attention to authority and what's expected of you so that you don't do anything out of the ordinary or out of the, um, you know, out of the ethical, when there's ethical issues, you know, there could be ethical conflict where you may be facing some ethical conflict or taking the moral path may be a bit difficult or you might be having issues with building something or doing something or it's as though you need approval there's an approval for something needed. 
And it's this approval that's affecting your decision. So very interesting. I do see that anything is becoming possible in this new beginning, a new doorway is opening. And it looks like um, your project is doing well. There's a beginning of a new project. And this is giving you a lot of strength. This doorway, the slide that's coming in, this new beginning, it's giving you a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of power. So it's a good time to start anything you want. There's fertility in anything you do and a wonderful support. There's a lot of support in this situation. Uh, some of you are starting families. There's a possibility. Something beautiful is igniting. There could be a new love for others. I feel like success and good health is coming. I feel like you have confidence now in your relationship or a new relationship that's going to give you confidence, a new one that's that you're encountering, especially if you have been single. Mental awareness is very important um, when you are coming to take any step. I feel like um, there's a lot of optimism and a lot of happiness, don't get me wrong, and um, there's a period of contentment and joy, but sometimes uh, you might be thinking of a risky venture. Uh, sometimes even when you're doubtful, you take a step, you've got to be very careful. Um study the situation well so that you know you can be successful and, and complete it successfully so just be a bit careful i do see someone of fire energy here very strong fire energy sagittarius Leo, or aries either one some are very attractive healthy uh, this person is um somewhat of a very creative and they're very practical this person is going to be uh, supporting you. They're very protective and you love that about them. Very protective. They want to protect you. So um, you are opening your heart to this person. You are opening your, you're becoming generous. Um, have faith. This person is going to help you and uplift you. But at the same time, be generous with everything that's around you. Sort of, it's, it's a message here. Um, small money is going, a small amount of money is there's a small amount of money increasing. It doesn't look big. It looks small. But there's a lot of valuable uh, information that's coming or valuable um, that's building it up. That's what I'm seeing, like a valuable information or valuable assets or something that's uplifting this increase and making it higher. You'll understand what I mean, especially if you have your own business or if you're building your career or you're doing something. Bear with me, my view, uh, viewers. I just fix my glasses and get my hair out of my eyes. Okay, now, yes, career building. So, valuable information or valuable insight is going to support you move forward. You're feeling enthusiastic, you're interested, you're so interested in something, and the interest of this matter, this new venture, motivates you like you're so excited. You want to achieve everything. You know, some of you could be planning to do like start a family or start a business or start something amazing. There's steady income, there's organizational matters, there's accomplishments, and there's rewards coming. I feel rewards. I feel like there's something you want to do in your home or regarding a house. I feel like some of you are planning to be self-employed. You want to do your own thing. Some of you are wanting to do some sort of arts or design or, um, you know, decoration like some of you could be decorating your home or doing art and design regarding your home and some could be planning a big party or an engagement or a wedding and all kinds of decorations and it's all that and some of you are also doing landscaping because there's a garden here mm. wow chinese zero of the rabbit is here very strong if you're a nature lover, I feel like you're doing something in your garden or you're spending more time with um, connecting to Mother Nature or just planting a vegetable garden or doing something, landscaping big in regard to gar uh, gardening. Uh, I do feel like um, I see someone putting their hand in soil and, and planting. Maybe you're planting some sort of vegetables. I feel like also that this is a good, uh, it's got, all the slide around it helping you move forward like um 
I see some sort of therapy to do with earth also. So some of you could be doing landscaping, yes, but some of you could be planting herbs or maybe this is a way that our guardian angels, the universe is showing that herbal aromatherapy or herbal medicine could be the way to go if you do have issues. Um, I feel like in, in regard to your general health or well-being, try to be more um, using more natural remedies rather than... Um, chemical so very important there are matters changing in relationships uh, they could be healing they could be they could be moving to the next level but something is changing around november so that's very interesting we've got 11 here in november something about parents parents uh, being challenging something about parents or parents interfe interfering or parenting talking about parenting and then realizing there could be some differences or there could be some blessings it could be it could go either way um, for those of you who haven't been feeling lucky, I feel like luck is coming your way. I see the um, four-leaf clever all over this place, and I feel luck is going to be on your side. It's bringing you abundance. Focus your mind and your intention abundance because it's coming. I feel like luck is going to be great going coming your way, and adventure and travel also are coming very soon very soon not in this month but very soon physical activity i feel like there's a lot you're doing heaps you're doing you're healing and you're feeling freedom but you're doing a lot um my dear my dear aquarius you know you are an air energy and i see another air energy that you are constantly uh, with or or um you're healing together or you're talking together or you have a connection together it could be a lover you know this person can sometimes become a little bit of a warrior where they want things their own way or they could be set in their own way but you always are in control <laughs> and that is really wonderful uh, not that you are in control of them that way but i mean they do listen to you and that is great but they every now and then they want to sort of like What's the saying? You know, when somebody wants to flap their wings and they want to cause some problems, you always calm them down. <laughs> it's a beautiful relationship where you are an absolute, like, you know, you are their medicine. It's like when you talk, they, they mellow and they feel um, happy again. This person could be of air energy also. And this could be, it could, this could be uh, also someone connected to the Chinese here, or the rat, the horse, the rooster. You want to do their own, your own thing. They want to do their own thing. It's that kind of a situation where, you know, everybody wants to do their own thing and and then trying to bring it together. And that makes it a little bit complicated. But you'll understand all this and you'll heal from it and you'll have that sense of freedom, both of you, around November. Again, November keeps showing. If something does fall apart, remember, nothing will be wasted. You won't be wasting anything. So you don't have to worry. I feel like there may be some challenge if you bring your ideas and put them out there i feel like the ideas are going to be supporting this situation um your ideas are going to heal a situation that's very important um i also see it's like i see you talking to someone and um It's like, a, this is really bizarre because it's like you're getting to know each other with this person. And the more you're getting to know each other, I feel like, hmm, there may be a little bit of a distance between you. And... But you know what, there is that phone, sort of, I see a phone between you, so you are talking to them on the phone sort of more than you are able to see them. Maybe there is a bit of a distance. Or maybe it shows that you might not be that much in love with this person or you're not able to love that much. And, you know, this is a very, uh, it's a very loving person. Maybe they're pursuing you. So maybe it's time for you to switch on your love lights on and you know um really think about this person it shows like loyalty is needed and they're very if it's either yourself or them they're very loyal to the people that they love and uh, they're open to compromise also in, in regard to relationships i see here the chinese ear of the dog bear with me my dear viewers okay chinese ear of the dog and Chinese ear of the ox or buffalo, Chinese ear of the horse. 
you know, at at one stage, you know, one of you could be saying that we should slow down and not to rush into anything. They're a bit confused whether it's yourself or them. It's like, yeah, no, yeah. Like you're, you're in between. You're not sure. You still don't have the answers. You, you don't know what to do in regard to this relationship. But there is a very strong uh, intimacy, uh, sensual intimacy. Like there's a lot of that or a lot of that is discussed. So the love may be based a lot on that and maybe you, you want to slow that down or maybe they, there, there is a situation where um, maybe there's too much intimacy and not much talking, uh, not much, um, not much action. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe not much action is taken towards other things. So that could be a bit of a problem. Air energy of the strongest here, like yourself, my dear Aquarius. Aquarius, I've got the water barrel, one, two, three, and four. So you are an Aquarius, but this person has got a lot of Aquarius in them. Amazing. There's one Gemini. Just move it a little bit towards the light. One Gemini, small one, but it's nothing compared to the Aries. Uh, sorry, not the Aries. I did see Aries, but um, talking about Aquarius, there's one, two, three, four water bear, four water bearers. That means big time Aquarius. There is a small Libra also. They might have a little bit of Libra in them, but I'm seeing Aries fire energy very strong. Fire, Aries double Sagittarius one double Aries. So this person is Aquarius with Aries in them, strong Aries. That makes them um, constantly, um, what's the word, you know, being impulsive and, and impatient. Maybe that is one part of them that you'll find it uh, a bit hard to, to deal with. Um, they've also got water energy. There's someone with strong water energy, and I'm seeing double Cancer, double Scorpio, and one Pisces. So there's water energy, which makes them um, cool and... Um, analytical constantly analyzing situations sometimes moody sometimes moody uh, sometimes uh, unsure what like you know or, or maybe um, impulsive wanting things to to go faster making fast decisions maybe I also see Virgo which is really wonderful because the Virgo and Capricorn oh wow there's a lot of Capricorn there's two Virgos three Capricorns and one Taurus this tells me that this person's got earth energy in them or maybe we're talking about two different people. Uh, maybe you might be leaving somebody behind and this is the new person. I don't know. But there's earth energy which will give you calmness, which will give you foundation, which will mean that you will work well together. That that would make them a very calm person. So um, having the air and the Aquarius and the Aries together would make them, yes, a little bit erratic, a little bit, um, what's the word? Uh, impulsive you know impatient that's the word impatient but then having uh, the earth energy that would give them calmness so it depends you'll know um who the person is or whether this is these are two different people chinese ear of the horse here big time big time chinese ear of the horse one two three four horses chinese ear of the horse has taken over whether it's yourself or this person then we've got chinese ear of the tiger one two three four again then we have chinese ear of the rooster one two three four now the the horse goes exceptionally well with the rooster the tiger goes well with the rooster but the tiger doesn't go with the horse so that you know that so um the rooster there also and there's the monkey and the monkey and the rooster they go well together there's the monkey one two three monkeys uh and there's three dragons the monkey goes beautiful with the rooster uh, it doesn't go well with the tiger uh, there's the monkey and then there is the the dragon and the dragon goes exceptionally well with the rooster they go perfect together. Uh, Chinese Year of the Dragon. I feel like there's going to be a new beginning. And this new beginning is bringing forth light into your life. It's bringing you a lot of positivity. There's yes all over the place. There's a letter J here, very strong J. Or is it G? No, it's J. Um, I also see... Um, a lot of joy and a lot of inner peace. The beginning of a great love is starting. Something magnificent. You've got to let your guard down. You've got to let go of the past so that you can move forward and trust this person. This is someone you can really trust. This is your soulmate. Count your blessings and, and be prepared to meet the one, your soulmate. I feel like you've got to follow your heart. And I feel this is the beginning of a great love for many, 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 many of you. Um, be 
you know be what's the word be certain that this is the beginning of love and i feel like the light is bringing into your life uh, a long-term happiness long long term and you're building you're building so much together now let's move forward to delivering this information it says you are in control you are in control chinese ear of the horse oh my god there was four horses Chinese ear of the horse here, very strong. Something's going to happen very soon, sooner maybe than you can imagine. Something about reconciliation, candles. Candles means illumination, light, seeing um, clearly. Uh, candles can also mean meditation. Candles means also good news. And reconciliation, you're reconciling. There's something about a tattoo. Somebody wants to get a tattoo. There's a nice tattoo. Something about discussion about tattoo, maybe. Something about karma, doing time. Karma and doing time. Those of you who are stuck in, in, in a situation, you, you're feeling that you're, you're doing karma and you're doing time. Um, Leo here. Leo. Fire energy Leo. Mm, very interesting. Then we've got the Chinese year of the snake, which is all about healing and about love. But healing, most of all. Champagne, celebration. There is a coffin. Wow. Coffin. Uh, I was given the coffin. That means the end. An ending. There is an end. I saw that here too. Not a coffin, but I saw an ending. Something coming to an absolute end. Something about a loss. Grieving the loss of someone, perhaps. Or grieving the loss. I saw the grieving of the loss. Guidance and support is going to be given. Something about a knob. Something about a knob. Could be, you know, could be anything connected to anyone doing knobs or creating knobs or doing art with knobs arts and crafts or just literally buying knobs for your home um or creating knobs it could be your business could be buying a business that does knobs whatever it is it's bizarre sagittarius something about sagittarius and something about june something very special about june it was like highlighted june june 2024 is going to be a big highlight for you my dear Aquarius something big is happening and it's connected to someone that's Sagittarius remember there were three Sagittarius so somebody's got fire energy in them very interesting now let's have a look at the initials and the names okay so we've got S for sweet or snake um, Scorpio we've got N for never and no nice or Nike Q for quail or quilt V for victory V for Venezuela, G for Georgia, G for Greece, T for Tiger, T for Thailand. We've got three H's. Wow, I was given three H. H was given to me three times. Am I, you guys can see that? Yeah, you can. There you go. Um, three times H for horse. Oh, my God, the horse. We had three, four horses, five horses, and, and again, three H's. Horse. Horse seems to be governing this reading today very strong horse h for horse or h for whatever you know hen henrietta then we've got c for canada cindy uh, charlie b for butterfly bumblebee k for kiwi kiwi fruit koala kangaroo and i twice for i am uh india indigo and that's that one now we've got oh, i was given number 10 number 10 for those of you who are dealing with with or if you are chinese here of the rooster Big time here, Chinese zero, the rooster, the end of a chapter. It's also people born in October, which are Libra and Virgo. No, sorry, Libra and Scorpio. We had a few Scorpio here, Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio, and also the end of a chapter of your life, a karmic chapter absolutely ends and prepares you for a new beginning. So this is happening from the time that you see this cup starting October all the way up to 10 months. Something is going to end and that's going to bring a total peace when this karmic chapter absolutely ends. It's going to be an end of an era and you will be um, ready for a new beginning. And that is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up, my dear viewers, if you enjoyed it and if it resonates with you. Don't forget to watch your general reading. At the end of it, you'll know the star sign combination and that will give you the confirmation, reaffirmation of what we talked about here, the star signs at the end. Uh, don't forget to watch your money reading because little money was coming then there was big money that was bringing you abundance and you were able to buy real estate so um or doing big you know land or business you know starting something really big so have a look at your money reading your money reading is all about your money so it's very refined and direct and to the point you'll understand everything and um 
don't forget if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what um, what I do please subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you anything it's absolutely free everything I do is free just a click um, to the subscribe button the sub subscribe icon and that helps me big time with ratings and YouTube so you'll be supporting me big time if you only enjoy what I'm doing I wish you a lot of blessings a lot of love and light namaste